Behind me is a sci-fi office, and on day three of building it, it was a sad day because I had to cut a hole right here in the middle of the floor to build it. And I'm going to show you how I did it. I need to cut a hole in the mezzanine to put up some stairs. And then I'll need a support column that will go from the floor to the mezzanine. I'll start by making a knife plate. This will provide some flexibility to plumb the column up later. You can take your existing beam, just set a depth stop, and now you can transfer that to the beam. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up welding it to the flange just like that. With 3 16 welding rod, I'm gonna do one pass on each side. So now that I have the knife plate on the top welded, we need to work on the bottom and what we're going to do to fasten it to the floor. So I'm using this cool little laser measure to get an accurate reading for the column length. So I need to cut this beam to length. Let me show you a cool trick on how you can cut thin plate with a big cutting torch. And it's going to start by having it nice and square and then I'm just going to keep the torch in the same position. I'm just going to roll it. It cuts really fast so you don't have to wait so long. So this is just a simple end cap that we're going to weld on to the base and that's going to keep it a nice slim profile to be able to fit inside the wall. So let's weld it on and get this baby installed. So I'm choosing to bolt the column and the beam together for simple erecting purposes because it's fast. I know that it's strong, I know it's repeatable, and that I can do all the welding on the ground which makes it really convenient. Now that the column is bolted to the floor and the girder up above is bolted in properly, I feel comfortable cutting off the joist and making a hole in the floor. So I prefer to do all the measuring and layout on the concrete floor. And I do this just by snapping some lines and then I take a nice bright green laser and I can transfer these lines up into the roof and that will give me a nice visual line where I need to cut the ends of the beams off. So there are now three little tails of joists hanging out there dangling into nothing and I want to be able to tie those and support them. So I'm going to be cutting some angle iron and attaching them to the adjacent beams on the sides. I'm choosing to use angle iron instead of a flat piece of plate steel for the knife plate because it's going to gusset and strengthen the web of this joist. So I'm going to be attaching the beam perpendicular to the joist. And the proper technique to do this because they want to share the same space is to cope one of them. And that's removing a little piece of the two flanges that could interfere with each other. On one of the cuts I did correctly with a nice clean smooth radii on the inside corner of the cope. On the other side I didn't do so hot. I actually have an overcut condition from the torch where the kerf penetrated the corner. This is going to leave a stress fracture and you don't want that. I'm going to be addressing this by welding it and blending it smooth when I have it up in the air so to eliminate any chances of this cracking or fatiguing in that area. 